What's up guys? I'm gonna make a uh, tutorial of sorts. Um, might be kind of more like a, a let's play here because I'm gonna try to figure some stuff out as I go. Um, I recently posted a uh, six digit pin uh, combination lock and I want to try and see if I can do a nine. I think it's been done before but I've never done it so bear with me here. I think it's uh, would be cool if he could because it's just like a regular you know alarm pad at your door usually nine digits aren't they yeah well ten you know what I mean so um, I, I assume we're gonna need a lot of repeaters on this one uh, but we always start with torches and you could get away with uh, you know kind of cheating this is kind of cheating where you, you run running out the sides. I want to see if I can do it like this. So, how do we want to do this? Well, I want to go to the right with uh, this one here, I think. And I want to go to the left with this one here. And then I'm going to have to go straight down with, well, I can go straight ahead with some of these. What I'll do, yeah, I'll just go straight down with this guy. That's good. Um, and then we're going to have to go straight out with these two. So far, so good. Uh, middle torch will come out here. Alright, so this is easy. So far. So, um, upper left. Upper right, and um, I know what I could do. I could do uh, if you put a uh, a block on top, it will kick the power kind of sideways. It, it it's not really sideways. It's not the. Let me uh, isolate that. Sound right? There we go. And I can do the other side now. Well, that's kind of a cool shape. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, um, I can't see what I'm talking about. I'm going to remove this so you can see. Um, so that torch there, um, there you go. Um, this desk will light up. It's not powering this block here in front. It's actually powering the block above, like you'd normally think of. But, uh, like that. So that seems normal, at least to me. But it actually kicks it off to the side because it's still this redstone dust is, is uh, coming off of this block from the side. So anyway, when I figured that out, it took me a while, but uh, I wasn't sure why that was happening. I just thought it was odd, but it's actually just normal. The torch is powering this block, and this block is powering the dust. So. Whatever. Oh, get through. And uh, I thought it was going to be harder than that. Jeez. It's almost boring. All right, so let's um, let's run them out one, two, three. So one, two, three over there, and in that order. So one will come this way, and let's come out this way. I don't know how far I should go. I'll probably drop it. I'm going to have this one, but that one's going to be later. So he's going to have to go under. So let's do that for now. And by the way, this. Oh, no. Oh, you can't have that. There. When you uh, have interference like that, just throw a block on top of the dust so that they can't uh, get to each other. All right, so that that it's just oh. um dust. Where's my dust? This mod, because everyone asks, because it's awesome, is too many items. So look for that at your favorite retailer. Um, 
So that's the first one. The second one is coming off of here. So let's run this out a little ways. And then over this way. And there we go. Nice. I want to get these all parallel so we can do something with them. Nice. Alright, so then the third one is over here. So how are we going to get that over there? I think I'll just run it straight out. I'm going to have to isolate all those, but it's okay. Easy enough. Just like that. See, all these are going to interfere with each other. But no problem, because we just do this. There you go. So those three are isolated and working. And I think we're going to have to start going downstairs. But uh, all right, now I'm seeing I'm kind of crossing each other. That's just kind of silly. But I, wanted, I want it to be like a, a number pad so you, you know which one's number one and all that stuff. Uh, where's that one going? It's coming out here. So I'm going to have to take it underground. Whoops, not yet. So I need to get over that way somewhere. So let's try taking it just right out here. And maybe that should work. Where's the other one at? Right there. So I'll come out through here. Nice. This one looks like it might run out of power. Let's see how far it got. Yeah, it ran out right at the end. Probably should uh, bring it back upstairs. Here. I'm going to go ahead and throw a repeater right here, and the repeater is going to power this block in front of it and power that dust. Alright, next would be uh, middle, and middle is coming off of this uh, repeater. That threw me. So let's bring it straight out. It's interfering with that guy. Throw a block on top. And just tunneling here. Um, let's see if I can bring it straight over this way. And run it, run it straight out. Next would be this one here, I believe. And uh, I think I'll just do that. Why make it complicated? Keep running out of dust. Good thing I have to, don't have to go mine it. All right, there you go. Um, and now we got to go to the far side again. Dang it! Oh, there it is. So let's um, tunnel under, I guess. So I think we can get down through there. I need to go that low, though. Let's go through there. Let's see if we can get across. Oh, we got a head headroom here. Ugh, dang it! All right. So where it was under here, I think. It is. Oh, it was up one? What? Why was it up one? Did I go that low? Oh, okay. That should work. Yeah, I gotta go underneath underneath this one. So go like that. Make sure I don't take out any that I need. Stuck. Um, run this one out here, and uh, there you go. Um, that was the far one. Oops. Time to take a nap. If anybody knows of a, a mod that's uh, real good for daylight, I think I have. Um, I see quit. I think I have one. 
Um, but if you know of any others, um, I'd certainly like to hear it. I'd like to, I'd like to have one that just keeps it daytime. Which one was the uh, LOL editor? So if I open up the world, I can set it back to morning, but no, this is just as, this takes longer than taking a nap. But I'll show you how this works here. Um, if you open up the world you were just in, no idea, I think I was in this one. And then just set this to day, and then hit save. Then you go back into your world, and it's magically morning. So that's kind of cool, but I wish there was one where you could just have it set so it stays at daytime. I'm sure there's one out there. But uh, let me know. All right, which one were we on? We did that one. I think we need the middle. And it's it's got to. Dang it. Um, it's got to go straight down, so we got to get under there somehow. I think I just destroyed the block it was on. It was sitting on... I don't have anything on this, so I can take that away. It was sitting on that dust there. Now I can't put a torch here, because that's just going to interfere with this line here. That'll, that torch would power this line, so that's not cool. But we can do this. Oh, no, can we? I need a... Oh, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting this. If you just carry a stack of ladders with you when you're doing these kind of uh, uh, maze type of uh, constructions, just slap a ladder on. Helps out a lot. Okay, this one, I, I want to get rid of this here. That's fine. And now I can put a torch on... Can I? Yeah, I can put a torch on this side. So it inverts the power, so we'll invert it just to be consistent at some point here. I don't need a repeater then. Um, I'm going to run it out to be consistent. Stuck in there at the same level as the one beside it, just for consistency. I just said that. So that will go out that way, and um, I have to dig down here to find it again. Okay, let's just bring it up here, and there we go. Now we need to invert it at some point here. Eh, just do it there. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we're back to powered, like the rest of them, most of them. And the last one here is coming out. Oh my god. How the heck am I going to get that out? Um, that's. I'm going to have to move. I think I can move this one straight through there. Is that gonna give me enough room? Well I can come I can come this way. And then isolate that. But how do I how do I get it past? Um I wonder if I can do a trick with uh, I can't do that. Um, and I can't put a torch on here and dust there because I got lines going everywhere. I wonder if I could drop down and. Uh, let me try that. If I drop down here and then block this guy back off. Um, I can put a repeater 
Well, that's just going to be a ton of repeaters, though. Well, I, I, I'm going to have to move this line over one. And that's not really a big deal. So let's just um, run it out this shelf. Uh, one more? Yeah, one more. I need room for... Ah, see? Don't do that. I think I can go out this way. Nope. What did I destroy? Oh, I'll come back to that. So, I might need that, so let's put that in. We're going to run this one over two. And that's no longer necessary, although it's probably going to be this guy. I'm going to put a block here. And I can run the dust from here. Isolate. Run the dust from there. That way. And get me out of the hole. Um, so that one that I moved is now two blocks over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. So we'll bring that one this way. Build that back up. And... There you go. Um, now, um, I think I'm going to just keep going at the same level until I get past the other block right under here. There it is. Um, oops. Black one. Crazy. Um, I'm going to throw repeaters in here where necessary. That. Oh, I destroyed it, didn't I? And I think we're all good. And then I want to test it by uh, throw some torches on some blocks just to see what happens. I think I, I, don't know, I might not be able to see from over there. Uh, if I stand up here, will I be able to see what's going on? No. Um, I could listen for a door. Let's let's uh, let's put doors out here. Since I can't see through. Oh, actually, the way to do it. Take three. Back to plan A. Is we're going to switch out the buttons temporarily for levers. That's a good way to test uh, these type of things. Um, you can hit the you know buttons; they go off, obviously. Um, but you can set the lever to on, and then you can run over and, and trace what's going on. And that's good because I got it inverted. Okay. So now I got to take all these off and put levers instead, and then we'll eventually put them back as buttons. Alright. So, number one is off. If I had a torch there. And the torch is on. So, so far so good. It helps if you uh, wire these up. All right, there we go. So one is the only one that's on. That's what we want. We just want to make sure there's no interference with any of these. They're, they're all isolated from each other. All right, so we got number two. Number two is good. And uh, like I was trying to say there before my software kicked out, is that we're just trying to test whether um, all these are isolated. And if everything works on this test, then we can use that to create our combination lock, but I, I'm pretty sure we're good here. So far so good. I probably should just jump on a tall... I wonder if I can see from up here. Might be able to see the other ones, but I can't. 
Just put this mm. All right, back to that's good. There we go. That one's good. We're good. Good and good. So we have them in the right order. They're not cross talking with anything. Uh, they're spread out in a nice linear fashion for us. And uh, in part two, we will uh, build the um, the array of uh, set lines, I guess. And I'll show you how that all works. And then I want to try something different than I had in the first video. I was I don't have a radio in my machine, so all I do is think about Minecraft all day. So I thought I came up with a uh, a way to um, what I want to do is make uh, these a slice, so you could, if you wanted to, in MC Edit, just copy paste over and over again to add more digits to your combination. But my time is done. Um, that's how you wire up a nine button. These will be buttons, nine button uh, board, pin pad, whatever. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks, guys.